um, Assassin's Creed ha- is getting a show on Netflix, an original series. I've heard that they've signed on multiple projects, that there's like an animated series in the works, too. And I don't really <laughs> know, like, I don't really get what's what the goal there is. Yeah. But um, I think it's interesting that they're trying to revive the property so soon after the failure of the movie that came out. Because that movie flopped. There was a movie? Yeah, there was an Assassin's Creed movie. <laughs> that movie, like, flopped before it even came out. Yeah, so I remember. I remember us trying to go see it, and it wasn't even playing at one of our theaters. Really? Yeah, we had to go to the other theater across town. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, rem- I don't. Even I don't remember they, that happening. But AMC yeah. didn't even bother to get the movie. Oh my god. It, yeah. Oh, I remember now. You, I remember you telling me about it because we were like, we're just gonna go see it, you know. So yeah, like the first movie comes out does pretty much awfully. I think we can say that it wasn't even just like Tomb Raider level. Like horrific. It, it was like it did horribly. It got panned by reviews. Did bad. It was bad. Can confirm. Watched it. We were there. It was pretty rough. Um, I feel like it's pretty quick to be returning to the franchise. Now, obviously, it might be a few years before we see this this show, but I thought it's pretty quick to be coming back. And well, I've not played an Assassin's Creed game since Syndicate, uh, which was a few years ago. I think probably the year that the movie came out. Um, However, I think that there has been a revival in the video games. I think. People are liking them a lot. The more video now. games, the new are ones. Right people now. are people are really loving. Like uh, I, they all have similar names: Odyssey, Origins, and I think the Odyssey, new Viking one. I don't kill me, gamers, um, but I think Odyssey was the one that really started. Like it started getting back up because isn't there a new one called like Valhalla? Yes, it's like Viking it's Vikings, type stuff. Yeah, people Looks are really, really hyped for it. The trailers. Um, I've seen trailers. I've seen gameplay. I can't speak because I'm not a massive Assassin's Creed franchise fan, but I've followed loosely the franchise. I've seen the games come out, seen what they look like, and I've heard a lot of reception about them. I, I know the vague stories mm-hmm. and what it's about, what's going on. Um, the new games look great. Yeah. I don't, but I don't even think that that's like just a resurgence. I think they they were always doing all right. I think just the new games they, elevated. Well, them. no, they they hit. They had one. They were having them come out like back to back to back to back to back, and. Uh, they finally hit this hit this wall with this one called Assassin's Creed Unity, where it was so buggy. The game was so glitchy. Like I played it, it was almost unplayable. And they were releasing these sixty dollars games that were just like half finished and just so copy paste. And uh, then I think they took a year off and changed their development cycle a little bit. And then they came back with um, I can't remember which one it was. It might have been the one where they were in Egypt or something. Um, I can't remember the title, but. People really liked that one, and now they they're sort of on a roll again with with uh, pumping them out, yeah. and people actually really liking them. I, they they hit they hit a level where like they really tarnished the Assassin's Creed name, just as a like, uh-huh. it wasn't really viewed as a quality okay. product anymore. And I think they're really regaining that now, and I think they're probably trying to capitalize on that. I really enjoyed the ones that I played. I played like the first one and maybe some of the second one, and I really enjoyed it. Just it's not even just that like I think the gameplay is pretty pretty cool. Just you know assassins like the action is cool. Um, I just love the, the setting, and I right. love that in the new the new ones they've leaned into the setting. Like they're getting really exotic in the settings, like mm-hmm. really cool and iconic stuff going on. So I'm I really like that. Um, with the news of a show though, I'm interested to see where you go because at this point Assassin's Creed has gotten so many different eras and I'm not familiar with the exact uh, story arc of the, I don't know if they all just blend together or if they're new stories every time in each move in each. Uh, what I know game. is that the first there was Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed two. Um, I want to say it was brotherhood and then revelations and all four of those were a part of the same storyline. So I my think. question is, are they still attached to the same storylines? Not as far as I know. So I think I think now they're doing different eras and that's what I thought. So different. and I like that for the games. I think that's a great idea. But when we're talking about a TV show, where are they going to go in terms of era? And if they choose like to go somewhere like the first the original series did like following the, that character, or that storyline, is that a great idea? Is that the idea that we want? I'm not sure that they do that. I think they well. The movie went with the um, the original games. It wasn't the original game storyline, but the original game character, I think, with like the, mm-hmm. the Desmond I th- I think so. guy. Yeah. Uh, I remember so little of that movie. Um, I don't think that they're going to do that again. Um, I I think that they'd probably do a Assassin's Creed story that's not technically an adaptation of one of them. Because at this point, there's like 18 of them. 
And I think that they're probably just going to do an Assassin's Creed style story where it's about some character who, Mm -hmm. you know, goes into the. That's what I was going to say. I think what I would like to see is something completely new within Assassin's Creed, like not picking up a character. But also, uh, can we just can we just cut out like the real world parts? And when we're making an adaptation, yeah. like can I th- we just—I think they might have learned their lessons. Go into the Assassin's Creed yeah. stuff. Like we or don't keep it to a minimum. Yeah, I've seen that opinion around that people want it kept to a minimum. I actually believe that they will do that. Uh, put less emphasis on it. That being said, down. Tell me if this is a bad idea. I would almost like an Assassin's Creed show. How do I say this? To be almost anthology like. I would almost like. I'm not sure that I want. Which now, I don't know if I'm the just the target. I'm, I'm sure I'm the tar- target audience, but I'm not like the fan audience. But I would almost want an Assassin's Creed show to maybe not skip around eras, but almost like each season be a different era mm. and a storyline. Like find a way to change, you know, f- give us a storyline that's a character that's in the, I don't even know what it's called. It's like an A word. The animus. Animus, I think. I think that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm so glad that just came to me. <laughs> I'm not a total like Assassin's Creed noob. Um, I called it the Assassin's Creed thing a minute ago. <laughs> the Assassin's Creed thing. <laughs> you played more of the games than me. <laughs> um, like, I'm not totally opposed to having that in. Like, I'm, I am I like actually like the fact that having the Animus allows for the um, structure around it to jump to different time periods. Yeah. So, but I want to see that utilized. I don't want to... S- I don't want to see like every episode jumping to a different time. Like just, oh, we're just jumping into times to do different things for fun. Like Mandalorian style, like anthologies, like disconnected stories. But I think like each season somehow finding a way to move into different eras would be a really cool chance to, I think, showcase what Assassin's Creed has done best. I think I think the most and this may not it may just be me, maybe not all the people that enjoy the series but the allure that assassin's creed has is the history to me it's Mm -hmm. the way that they do like especially in the early games like the way that you would just get a shot of the main character in his cool assassin clothing like holding on to like the top of like a gigantic like tower and leaping from it getting the bird's eye view of these historic locations that was what really hooked me. Like, I don't care about the character. Yeah, I like the, the assassin stuff. It's cool action, you know, yeah. fun fighting uh, type stuff. And I'm sure that you can have good stories with it. But like utilizing, I don't think any other show's done that really. That's the other thing. Like, I, I don't think any show has done or w- would have tried to pull off that type of thing. Now, obviously, budget's going to come into that because trying to do like whole new massive civilizations every show I don't know. It gets into complications. I'm not saying it's like a massive hit or like that's exactly what they should do. But I would like to see them lean into like I would like to watch one season where it's like, you know, in the original setting. And then I want to see the Vikings. I want to see the pirate ships like I, I want to see them all. Like, I don't want them to be like, we're going to do our own thing and just go back to this one era. And now it's just because I think if you just stick in one era for more than like a season or two at a time, I'm not even going to want the animus. I'm like, honestly, like, why don't we just make just give me a show that's about an assassin. Right. That's like what I'm saying. Just cut. Just yeah, cut just cut it out. Just give me the person. But so if you're going to use the gimmick of Assassin's Creed, utilize the fact that you can jump. Yeah. No, I definitely think like every season would be a good idea. And don't make the seasons too long. Make them like eight to ten episodes. Yeah. And then. Big budget. Give me give me a big. Yeah. Give me the bu- give me the whole budget like in smaller episodes because I want you to I want you to pull off. Like I want Daredevil season one level of choreo- action, choreography, assassin, you know. Um, silent killer type of stuff yeah like i don't i don't want it dragged out at all or wasted on things that we don't like yeah but. i definitely think that's the way to go and definitely don't do any of the things that the movie did yeah not one of them 